Welcome guys, today we are back on Roblox and today we are back on Rostock Racing. I never thought that I'd be uploading on a Sunday but the grind is back on for 1000 subscribers. Uploads you can expect every Saturday and Sunday hopefully for the next few weeks. I've got a bit more time in my hands now it's a Christmas holiday so I'm going to be grinding to get some videos out. But 3, 2, 1 and the lights are out and we get a pretty good start. But Snowfall has what on earth are those track limits he's just literally cut the whole corner but i mean the fia aren't gonna be happy about that but i guess because it's in nascar people can just drive wherever they want they can drive on the walls if they wanted to but we've lost the early advantage that we've had when that dropped down to third place looks like that's gonna be made to fourth place now so everyone is just cutting the corners the red bull's been spun around we thankfully avoid him that looked like a big crash behind we're now in fourth place trying to get a slipstream trying to figure out where we're gonna go everyone just cutting the corners i guess that's what we're gonna have to start doing now just driving wherever you want Maybe take the maybe take the short layout and just win the race 20 seconds earlier than everyone else does. We get a pretty good exit there. We're trying to go around the outside of, of Drudge, but they're both fighting pretty hard. Just, yeah, but that's a great racing line. He's just absolutely cut the corner and he's just smashed us both into the wall. The 43 blue and yellow car now is going to try and get a better exit as they're all trying to take the, to the cheating line. We're now trying to get a switch back on the inside. The two cars ahead of us are fighting pretty hard. We're going to try and find somewhere to slot in. We try and go down the inside. There's someone on our inside. I just pushed us into the wall there. The pink and white car has now gone into the lead. We're now in fourth place. We'll have to try and think of something as the pink car gets hit off there. And we just cut the. We, since everyone else has got in the corners, we're just going to start cutting now as well. And now we're in second place. We've got someone on our inside, someone on the outside. Two cars on the inside now. I have no idea where that third car comes from. We've been spun round. We somehow managed to keep that going there. And again, what are these people doing? This is like they want to they wanna, um, throw me off the road. We're in second place now, trying to figure out what is going on in this crazy race. The blue and yellow car now inside now, we're getting pushed towards a wall. Oh my god. We've just been ruined there, but we haven't lost that much time. We still are, we still are in this race as the 24 car just gets absolutely annihilated by Drudge in front of us. But yeah, I guess now just trying to close the gap to P1. He takes a tighter line than we do, but he goes a bit wide. Coming out of the final corner, and now we're trying to get a slipstream trim. We can try to go down the inside and just slow down for some reason. I mean, I'm not really bothered by that, it's just gives it a bit of free win, so I'm just going to carry on and hopefully yeah, the win doesn't go uncontested. I'm not sure why he did that, but I'm not really complaining, it's a free win, so that's as easy as they get, I guess. And now moving on to the next race, starting P2 here and we changed our car as well. We've gone from the iconic WhatsApp car to a purple and blue 77, starting second on the inside this time, same track as well. So. We can guarantee everyone's to be cut the corners, but as the lights go out, we get a good start. We actually we actually take, you know, a, a legal line going into the first corner and we don't cut we don't cut it. We've held our ground from the 51 car in the first lap. But yeah, oh Jesus Christ, he just absolutely cut the corner there, it's like he's playing no rules on F1. We lead him coming into the first lap now. Or well, the second lap, sorry, the 51 car is now on our inside, we tap the wall there. I'm not sure if that's gonna put us under pressure. And yes, that is right along our inside now. Try to turn in there, but he just taps us a little bit and we go into the wall there. We can see that quite behind us, there's quite a big battle going on. A lot of people are gaining and dropping places, so now we've decided that we're going to take matters into our own hands and start cutting the corners as well. As we now try to get Slip Freeman 51 car, he covers the inside, and we have to go the long way around the outside. We start drifting a little bit, the car getting out of shape, the higher that we go up on the track. It's now lap for the halfway point of his race, he squeezes into the inside, he doesn't want to leave us any room at all. I'm not sure what he was doing there. But we've got to switch back and now he's on the in he's on the inside. It's a pretty entertaining race. It's only two cars, but I'd, oh my, yep, he's just absolutely annihilated. I'm not sure what he's doing there, but I'm gonna try and stick with the pack now. Come into lap five of this race. There's a green car coming in as well. And oh, oh my god, I don't even know what to say about that. He's just absolutely, he's just absolutely cut the corner and just smashed into about five cars, dropping us now down to fourth place. And somehow he's still leading the race. So I hope he doesn't win after that move. I hope. He at least yeah doesn't win that race after that. That would be a pretty bad race. Um a pretty bad way to win the race. As he's now he's under pressure, there's five cars now in contention for the win. We make a bit of contact with the Oreo car in front of us. As now trying to just pick our way through his absolute calamity of a race. We're now pinned to the middle of the track now. Dendy on our inside in the 27 Rolex car. And there's this absolute cluster of cars we get forced into get forced into the wall there. And we pretty much dropped the last place. We got a switch back on the entire grid. Someone's flipped over in the back. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. The final lap, somehow we were we were last one lap ago, and now we're leading the race again. We've gone right out of the last corner there, and Aventador and NASCAR fan are on our inside. 
We're in third place right now. Can we get a switch back? And we've just been absolutely clattered into so that's the end of our hopes to win the race. Can we at least get onto the podium? But we only finished in fourth place. So thanks guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the double upload next week.